application form which every other person needs to uh, fill so as to appear as a, a potential candidate in outreach internship. Uh, the first thing is there are some questions that you need to answer about you, your experience and there, there are some personal questions to test your understanding about uh, how you have been uh, discriminated or st stereotyped uh, in your past experiences and you will be asked about your recent internships or any uh, the academic institutions work research work etc further on uh, boys should uh, take this thing in their mind that uh, this is a woman oriented internship so more preference is given to women as compared to males along with that you need to answer your academic uh, qualifications and the dates for which you will be able to uh, appear for the internship. Now uh, you have to wait for some time till the application gets approved and once it is approved you will receive an, receive an email like this that your initial application has been approved and you are uh, uh, con like invited to the contribution phase, the initial contribution phase for the outreach internship. So that's the uh, first achievement so as to uh, see and uh, analyze whether you will be able to secure an internship or not. This is the first step and if you clear it, this is the first step and if you clear it, then you will be able to uh, contribute in outreach organizations and be a part of them for the internship fees as well. Now we will be talking about how to start contributions once your application has been approved. So. Uh, you will be given the portal, the page where all the organizations will be listed along with their mentors, their projects and what all uh, vision they have while creating the organization or working on the particular project. So you need to figure out which organization suits you well. Whether you are good in app development, web development, maybe Python, C++ or any other particular technology that you have worked on before or you are interested to work on uh, for the first time and you wish that you will be working on that technology in future as well, you can pursue that. Suppose you are interested in ML or Python. So you can choose the organizations which are based, which, whose projects are based in Python, are written in Python so as that you will be comfortable, uh, you will be learning new stuffs quickly and more efficiently. Now this is a beauty of open source that uh, you learn things very fast rather than choosing any course and then seeing the tutorials and implementing new stuffs after learning all the technologies, all the concepts. Now Outreach will help you to learn things very fast, efficiently and in a good way. Further on, it will help you to learn open source contributions. Like during my time, most of my fellow contributors didn't even know how to pull and push a request, PR. So uh, I'm not posting about it, but I myself uh, took permission from the mentors so as to organize a uh, session for the new contributors, new uh, people who are contributing into Outreach uh, on basic Git and GitHub how to use it and how to make PRs and all the all of that stuff. So once you have figured out what technology you will be using, you have to figure out the organization. Uh, you have to choose the organization from the page and there are some other links as well in the, uh, in the organization's page. So once you visit them, you will find the uh, communication channel, maybe a Slack, a WhatsApp group or a Discord server as well. So basically, in most of the times, it is a Slack community where there is a channel, different uh, groups have been made, a discussion group, introductory group, problems group, uh, assigning group, etc. where you can join and connect with your fellow mentors, fellow contributors and discuss your problems and what are the things you will be particularly doing in that project and what you wish to do in that project can be discussed there. Now once you have joined the uh, Slack channel, you have to introduce yourself uh, to mentors as well as to community um, that your name, your uh, about the introduction in around two three lines and then uh, what all things are you interested in and you can also ask about the project details uh, what is the vision of the project if not mentioned on that page on the previous page so yeah that's how you can start your communications with mentors as well as the community members in that organization now once you have started your communications made your first uh, icebreakers now you the final phase starts that uh, the contribution phase starts, you need to implement the given tasks or you need to make particular contributions into that project. Suppose you are beginner friendly, so you can choose the first, uh, the friendly first issues um, by going through the issues channel in issues tab in the github 
of that organization and figuring out what are things you can achieve and you can solve maybe you aren't aware of the tech particular technology you can search for the things on the internet learn about them and then implement that stuff into that code base in most of the cases organizations give you tasks that you need to implement these these uh, certain tasks um, within certain period of time as well as outreach defines a one month long period so as to make uh, at least two to three contributions so as to be eligible for the final activation phase that is for the intern choosing uh, period that that is the final application now the saddest part of this is around two to three people from 20 or 30 people are chosen so you should be mindful about your contributions your work in that organization don't just make simple contributions make bigger contributions and stick to that don't choose two or three organizations you start with uh, any two organizations that you are interested in and gradually make contributions uh, large numbers in greater volume into a one con in one organizations only organization only now that will help you to get an edge over other contributors uh, the positive impact will be on the mentors that this person is contributing since a long time and after that contribution phase uh, there is a final form for final uh, phase of the internship is out and that you have to fill and fill all the contributions that you have done their links their pr links and maybe the screenshots as well what are all things you implemented and uh, what all skill sets you applied to solve that issues as well so this is all about the contribution phase and uh, once you build the final application um, you have to wait for another one month where your application might get rejected or might get approved now it is pretty unsure that after doing uh, a good work as well you might get rejected so this happened in my case i still don't know the reason about this but okay uh, so this is all about my internship experience and how you can also apply to outreach and maybe get maybe become an outreach intern for the next year see ya hope you enjoyed the video it was an informative session for you uh, see you in a new video thank you